really enjoying this time, but I'd be lying if I wasn't like on wedding TikTok, just like (laughs) saving stuff for later. Pinterest and pennant. Yeah, I I get a lot of TikToks. I have like a a TikTok collection for like wedding ideas already. How does it feel to be the only engaged couple from this season of Bachelor in Paradise? It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, it feels kind of special. Yeah. We're the only ones that made We're it out. We're the only ones who made it out. That's wild. <laughs> you are. Um, was there any part of you guys that were worried this was too good to be true when you were on the beach? And were you thinking when we get back to reality, there's going to be a catch? I think that that's like something that can creep up in the back of your mind, especially when you look at both of our like relationship past. I would and say. So, yeah, I but would it's say. like you don't want to like self-sabotage anything. Like I think we both kind of had come to this place before we got to the beach where we were happy and healthy on our own. And so you have to really be secure in yourself and in that relationship in order to not let things like that get to you. But I think it's only human to have that thought sometimes. I think, you know, like maybe at the beginning, but then we would come, you know, to one another and have that tough conversation and then be like, Hey, uh, is this too good to be true? Like, I, I need you to answer some of these questions for me. Like, are we gonna be compatible in any way and stuff like that? And so once we got those hard questions out of the way, then everything just became so easy, so. I will say I was not like, you know, any moment thinking about being engaged, you know, throughout my life, I thought that I would be like super nervous, like leading up to, you know, any possible engagement. And um, I was actually really calm and at peace. And that was kind of how I I knew. I just felt really good. And I was like, oh, this is the start of like the future. Mm-hmm. So I think that was like really good that ultimately I ended up feeling really peaceful about it. I like it. <laughs> were there any doubts that maybe he wasn't going to propose, but you knew you were going to leave together and you were going to be together, but any, any doubts about the actual proposal going down on the beach that day? Uh, this one wears his heart on his sleeve. So I had like no doubts yeah. at all on proposal day. I mean, there's always that nervous feeling, like you said, where it's like, oh my gosh, like, because when you start to care so much and love someone so much, like you obviously have that pitted feeling where you're like, I hope that this works out. You know, mm-hmm. you want it to, cause it means so much, but yeah, I didn't have any doubts. Yeah, I don't think I left you with any doubts. No. <laughs> That's good. Um, did you guys consider taking Jesse up on his offer to get married then and there at all? Seriously, we didn't get to see that part play out. We just heard um, you say, obviously, you didn't you didn't go through with that right then and there. I think we just wanted to enjoy our engagement. Like it sounded like we, we teased them with it. Like we we, we, we loved each lie. other. And, we, we teased them. Well, with it's that like we bit. loved each yeah. other enough to do it, but it was only like, oh, did you secretly fly our parents here? Like, mm. did you right. secret? our whole family's here because if then and yeah. you think about and it. And I didn't think he was actually ordained. So I was teasing him. I was like, oh yeah, let's do it, Jazz D. And I was like, let me see if that ordained book would you write and stuff like we that. We thought it was just an empty book. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm no. actually ordained. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, oh no. Ow. <laughs> we were flattered to be the first one yeah, to be asked. So. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Well, I know you are taking time probably still to enjoy that engagement and now get to be out in public. But do you have an ideal timeline for when you'd want to get married or are you still just kind of really in the early stages of any of that 2024 yeah we're it's a little bit of both like we know we want to get married in 2024 we're thinking about like time of year and all of that but we're still in the stages of being super excited for where we're at like we haven't gotten to walk out in public as an engaged couple yet and so we're really enjoying this time but i'd be lying if i wasn't like on wedding tiktok just like (laughs) saving stuff for later. Pinterest and pennant. Yeah, I, I get a lot of TikToks. I, I have like a, a TikTok, TikTok collection for like wedding ideas yeah. already. So. I, I love that. Um, well, obviously you guys seem really happy. You seemed really happy on the beach. Have there been any growing pains? Have we learned anything about each other we weren't expecting or has it been pretty smooth sailing since you got home? Oh, I mean, we're, we're, we went straight from like seeing each other 20 hours a day to like staying inside and like couldn't be with each other so yeah there's gonna be like little growing pains here and there but yeah we are a normal couple like yeah. we do bicker sometimes yeah, we do absolutely. fight sometimes yeah but. like her buying random things on amazon she's like hey can you put this together for me like i, I hate like, the list is never ending <laughs> yeah. you know, okay good there you guys are a normal couple it's not yeah, a, just a perfect normal. fairy tale normal, normal couple yeah <laughs> okay well, the pool together like yeah we're weird. Come on, i don't care what people say like that 
is something that everyone does and they're either lying about yeah. it or <laughs> we do you have to bring that up <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh my God. Okay. Well, before I wanted to get you guys take on a few other things that went down with everyone else because you did have a front row seat. Um, I know you're very close to Rodney. Do you think he should have given Eliza another chance when she kind of came out? No. Okay. Tell me why. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, she chose Rodney. Ended up realizing that Rodney was in her person. That well, was the, that was the out, first part. Flew like, out do the you, next day but... to go see Justin. Justin was like, I don't think this is going to work. You know, I think he tried to make it work, but it's like, yeah, it just didn't work. And then coming back and realizing that Ronnie's an yeah. actual amazing guy and that you messed up and like, oh, I messed up. Can I have you back? Like, no, like, Ronnie's going to have someone who chooses him first right off the bat. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, and I agree. And I think also like we want her, like if she wanted to choose someone else, she wanted to veer off and like, you know, go in another direction. And she felt like someone else was her person. Like, you know, we want her to be happy too, but also you mm -hmm. have to know, like, once you've made that decision, you can't spin the block. Again. You can't spin the block. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that was the most part, the most hurtful part. I think for us watching, you see everybody get so emotional. It's because he thought, oh, I'm in the clear now, like we can really grow in this relationship and start fresh. And then, you know, she ends up leaving. And so, you know, for something like that to possibly happen again is not what I, I would yeah. want for Rodney. Yeah. But, you know, I think ultimately they're just not each other's person. Eliza's gonna find someone great one day and, you Rodney's know, they, find... they both deserve yeah. someone that's going to put them first, first so. Yeah. Um, Aaron and Genevieve, wild to watch play out on the show and now on Twitter. Um, what was it like to see them in real life interact? Um, it was <laughs> it was like everything's great and then you turn around and you're like, oh my, what is that about? Like yeah. what's happening over there? Um, oh man, that was, they are two great individual people, but together they are not so perfect of a match. Yeah. Yeah. Um, reaction to Victoria and Greg. We weren't on stage for any of that. We and heard so about we, it. we haven't seen like we haven't seen like exactly how things play out yet. Yeah, I think I think we're happy for both Johnny and Victoria if they're happy. You know what I mean? Okay. So nice. yeah. yeah. Um, and then the last one, fair for Kate to criticize Logan the way she kind of came for him. I know some people are saying maybe, you know, it, she wouldn't get an unfair edit or we didn't see all of it, but like kind of said some harsh things about, about Logan. I think, you know, and everyone, especially when, you, when you've when caught on reality TV, we all have our moments, but like you did say those things. And so Justice I, for Logan, man. Yeah, like, I don't I think I would ever speak on like how much money someone makes, whether it's what I'm looking for or not. Like I love Kate, but I personally just wouldn't say those things. And so I can't really justify it. But I do know there's a lot more to her than what we're seeing on TV. So yeah. it goes both ways. Also like, yeah, Logan, dude. He, but can you imagine having God. someone say that about you yeah. on TV? Like. I can't afford Equinox, I don't think. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, you know, his Honda's gonna last him forever. Yeah, that Honda's gonna last forever. This it was, it was man's an making, smart, <laughs> making smart decisions. Like, for more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.